Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are playing Hunter. Now, it is my hope this is not going to be a hot mess, but I'm in a bit of a pickle here because uh, I can't find a manual for this game. It is an older game, um, and as you can see here, these are some magazine uh, reviews or, or pages that I did find. Um, it looks rather complicated. And these old games don't necessarily tell you what buttons do what. Uh, games have gotten a lot better at telling you what buttons do what these days. But back in the day, you were just sort of thrown into it. And if you didn't know that F1 brought up the menu, then it was F you, buddy. Uh, and, I mean, we're going to try. We're going to give it a shot. But uh, the closest thing I could find was a Spy Hunter manual, which obviously is the totally different game, so probably wouldn't help us to read that. Um, and this, these magazine uh, mentions, but they don't really say anything about the buttons that we'll need. So we'll see what happens. Um, there is music playing in the background. This is an MP3 of the Hunter title music. I don't know if it'll actually be in the game we go to play, so I thought I would play it while we look over this manual. Or no, not this manual. While we look over this magazine uh, article. But anyway, so that's where we are. It's a war game. I don't know, there's a classroom here, there's ambulances. You know, the good thing is, even if we totally bomb today, we can't even get very far, at least we can see kind of what the game has to offer. And look at this, the game got really good uh, reviews back in the day. Um, it's... Oh, look at this, you can even see, like, the price and stuff. It was $24.99 in British pounds. Back in the 80s, I'm guessing that was, like, 50 bucks, um, Canadian or American. It was all in the 90s. This is an A-plus student you got right here. Um, and... Oh, they gave it different ratings on the Amiga and the Atari ST. You know, sound... You can get 1% better sound if you play this on an Amiga. And 1% better graphics. Playability's the same, though, so that's good. And they... You know what? They couldn't even bother to rate the PC because it's not out yet. So how do you know where, where to put the sound and stuff like that? What what made that one percent difference? I wonder. Uh, not since midwinter has anyone managed to successfully create an effective three-dimensional environment and combine it. Co combine that they're missing a dash here to tell you, but combine it with an absorbing game. Now, last Activision has put that right. I do like the music. Nothing gained and nothing taken away. Hunter offers just as much enjoyment as the Amiga counterpart. The graphics are a little lighter and maybe not as detailed. Hey, maybe I could look up a Hunter manual for Amiga. I want to play this game on the Atari ST because it's a system we don't normally dabble with, but maybe I should look up the Amiga manual. I'm going to do that. Okay, time out for a second here. I think we got it. All right, well, I'm glad that... Uh, I'm glad I thought of that. Please do not make illegal copies of this software. Software you were using was produced through the efforts of many people. Um, well, no comment on where I got the current copy that I'm playing today. But, I mean, this has to expire after 35 years, right? When did this come out? 91. So 2000... Well, yeah, this is... No, that's 30 years ago. 31 years? So, I'm sorry, uh, Activision designers... 30 years ago in France. I'm pirating you for, uh, I don't know, uh, what do you call it? For history. Um, you guys know the word I'm thinking of. <laughs> anyway, yes, I'm playing an Atari ST ROM today. Um, anyway, um, let's try and find some controls in here. Classified memo. I wonder if you can't even buy this game anymore, to be honest. Um, for a lot of these old games, I actually looked them up on GOG. I feel like that's the better way to play these, because they come, like, you know, ready, synced up to your computer, ready to go, ready to play, but... For some of these really old ones, I know we're just gonna touch our toes in once. Um, sometimes it's just easier, especially on a system like the Atari ST. Because if I bought this on GOG, it would definitely be a PC version. Um, I don't... I don't know if there's any legal way to get the Atari ST version. 
All right, so start a new game. Uh, Hunter, once again, HQ is giving you a strategic mission of the highest importance. Your intelligence, your training, your adaptability will all be needed. Missions require stealth, efficiency, and perseverance. Country needs you. Okay, so this is just the main menu. You can do like Hunter, Missions, Action, The Fate of the Free World. Okay, I guess we'll figure those out. It, it, it's not really clear what these are. HQ has given you a strategic mission. You'll have to penetrate the very heart of the enemy-held territory and search for informers. Um, hacking a building, radar, antenna, or hostile advanced post. All these targets are part of the overall plan. Yeah, it's not really clear what you're supposed to be doing, so we'll just figure that out. Um, and this is all basic stuff. Presentation of the mission. You've now made a choice. Third type of mission you've chosen. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the missions in-game will actually be explained to us. Um, oh, let me start the music again. I actually like that music. It was kind of cool to have in the background. Okay. The bottom of the screen gives you a certain amount of information from left to right coordinates. Okay, so we can locate ourselves on the map, how much time we have, radar screen, life points, weapon and equipment, credits. Oh, that's interesting. Speak. By clicking this word, the mouse is possible to question a person. Okay, give. Oh, it's like an adventure game almost. Briefing, disc option, quick. I know I'm skipping through this rather quick. But, uh, we'll see. This game looks interestingly complex. I don't know how well we'll do, but I, I like what we're seeing here. Parachute. Pistol, bazooka, time bombs, landmines. Yeah, now we're getting to it. Sam. Surface to air missile. This is a pilot's nightmare. Hmm. In the stores. We have to use a joystick. I mean, I got one plugged in, so we'll use it if we have to. The joystick lets you move around. Okay, so it seems like we do have to use one. That's good I have one here. Various vehicles. So this is nothing be simpler. Simply touch the vehicle find yourself automatically at the controls. Okay. All vehicles have the same laws of movement. Space bar to get out. Okay. Okay, I like these controls. They're pretty simple. Weapons are easy. Uh, after selecting weapon with the mouse or the enter key on your keyboard, pressing the button will fire. Okay, that's nice and simple. Oh, here we go. Some extra controls. Escape. R is radar. P is pause. An aerial observation drone. Well, they had drones in the 80s? Wow, that's... That's like ahead of its time, actually. We just have those nowadays. Flare, logbook. This is right in your diary, your journal. Question mark is your map. Spacebar gets out of a vehicle. All right. Advice. Don't worry. No, flying helicopter needs training. Don't sail too close to the shore. Respect civilians, but have no mercy for the enemy. All right, let's do this. Enough lollygagging around, it's time to go hunting. Oh, did the game not run? Um, floppy disk? What is happening? I have no idea how this OS works. It's like a hunter file. Did that actually work? I was literally about to reset the uh, emulator here. Thanks from the to Magic Middle Finger for the original. File not found. Oh wait, that wasn't an error, that was somebody's name. Pro tip, don't name yourself after a common <laughs> input-output error. It is confusing. All right, now the big question, do we get that awesome music? I know back in the day of Commodore 64, and I think Atari ST, sometimes when you bought a game, you'd get a cassette tape with music, and you're supposed to put it in a cassette player and listen to it while you played the game, because the computer couldn't do it at the same time. But this does not seem to be that. It seems like we've got our music. Oh, and now it's over. 
Well, at least we got to read a little bit. Oh my god, it crashed again. Hello? Game? Game? Um... Alright, I've tried two versions of this on the Atari ST, and I think we have to abandon our Atari ST efforts. This game was out on Amiga and PC, so we'll give that a shot. Let's see if we can get one of those working. Sorry, Atari ST, would have loved to play something on you, but looks like this operating system is barely keeping itself together, so... We'll try. Let's try uh, Amiga, I guess. Alright, and off we go. Hopefully. We'll see if this works. Oh, that's something. When dreams come true. I'm pretty sure this is a cracker group that cracks games, because I'm pretty sure I've seen that intro before. Yeah, this is definitely like a cracker screen. So back in the day, hacker groups who would um, crack games would put their own um, title screen in there. You can tell because it says the German HQ is fuck shop. And that's probably not a legit place where, you know, actual Activision employees work. So it's probably just a cracker group. I don't know. Okay, you click the mouse to proceed there. Um... And yeah, you can definitely tell this is a cracked copy because you have all these like options for like, do you want unlimited life and so on. We'll just go to the next page here. Um, unlimited, all this stuff. We're not going to cheat. Oh my God, it just goes on and on. How do we escape? Store the current position. Okay, I think we're going on. You know, part of playing these really old games on these weird old systems, I think, and I don't know, you guys tell me if you agree with this, but I think like the journey of getting these things running sometimes is its own retro experience. And for me, it's become part of the journey. I mean, you know, for like an old NES game, um, I 100% know I'm going to get it to work. Either if I've got the cart, that'll work. Or if I'm, you know, just uh, using a ROM, I 100% know those will always run. So it's like a, an NES game, a Sega game, any of those, those are easy. But something on like the Atari ST or even the Amiga or Commodore 64, they don't always work. And you have to like fiddle with the computer systems and the ROM setups and stuff. And I'm so used to it because I've been doing it for so many years. Um, it is a little annoying, but it is also sort of part of this journey of figuring out how the old hardware worked and trying to get it to run. So I don't know. Maybe it'd be interesting one day to do a video on like trying to get one of these things to work and you can see all the behind the scenes of like what you have to do. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and try Hunter. We're going to take uh, the namesake of the game, which is the Hunter mode. Please type in your name. My name is J007. Mission one, objective. You must collect one general's head, then return to the HQ before the head spoils on day one of, hour one of day six. Okay, oh, I should get my control. Oh, this is cool. This is like some early 3D stuff. Okay, so the joystick does move you. Man, look at this. Okay. <laughs> And do I have my gun selected? Maybe not. I don't know if it's supposed to run like, like maybe this is like choppy for it, but it's, it's how fast it's being run. You've not yet completed your mission. Get out of here. Okay, so the question is, where's the general? So this is like a third person adventure game almost. Um, I guess I could get in the boat. That is something they talked about, right? You've entered an outpost. Oh, look at this. Oh my god. Oh, I just picked up some flares and some swag. I got swag, man. Wow. This is, you know, this is a lot easier to control than I thought it would be, too. And imagine playing this in, like, was this, when did this come out? 91? Like, this is actually pretty impressive. Oh, look at all this stuff, too. Well, I'm just grabbing everything, man. Danger. Got the logbook. Cleaning this place out. I think I saw a boat over here, so maybe we can try boating. You do a map. 
Uh, I forget the key already. It doesn't bode well for us. All right, here's a boat. Oh, look at that! Oh my god, this is like Halo! This is like the Amiga's version of Halo. Okay, um... Shoot, what, what was the map button? Oh, here we go! We got here, clock, log. Here's our map. This doesn't help me at all. Where's the general? <laughs> Just a series of islands. Alright, let's go down to this big island here and see what we got going on. Oh my god, that's so cool! Oh my god, you can swim and stuff. Still don't know how to shoot. Because it seems like I've got my gun selected. And it said just press a button. Nothing is happening. Wow. I'm color me impressed. Even if we don't find anybody to kill. I don't know where this general would be. Oh my god, there's a tent. Do we have to like search for this general? Is that how this works? I kinda wish you could rotate the camera. Maybe there's a way to do it. Also, the uh the brown textures kind of feel like Sonic the Hedgehoggy. Like the checker checkerboard pattern of the brown on this hill. Gives me the vibes like we're in Sonic the Hedgehog world. Um okay, I am not seeing a general. Oh, maybe I can't shoot because I have no bullets. This is probably my bullets. It seems like a very peaceful mission. I have an idea. Screw this. Let's do a different mission. Yes. We abandoned that general. He starved in the forest by himself. We're doing another mission here. This is J008 this time. I, I gave myself a, a, an increase in rank. You must destroy one fuel dump. See the logbook for target coordinates, then return to the HQ. We have 17 hours. Alright, baby, let's do this. Is that a duck? Oh my god, they have wildlife. They have critters. Hey, look, there's a bike. <laughs> let's do it. Oh my god, we're on a bike! That's hilarious. Wee. <laughs> Pardon me, chaps. I'm going to bicycle over and destroy your fuel dump. Oh my god, stop. Thank you. I'm I'm very impressed how easy this is to control. I mean, I know we can make fun of it, you know, by today's standards. The graphics look terrible. But I mean, like, for the day when this came out, like, this is actually pretty impressive polygonal work, actually. I like how it sort of mixes, like, an adventure game with presumably this 3D action game. So... The ally stores... Fuel dump. Oh, I see. It's up there. Okay. We're so we just go dead north. Cool! We figured something out. When I have 99 bullets this time, actually. Oh, yeah. I just fired a bullet. That was a warning shot. I am so excited to blow this thing up. You know, I was a little intimidated to play this game today because a lot of times for these older games, they are utterly confusing. Um, oh, I have like missiles and stuff here. And it can be difficult in these older games to figure out all the controls and stuff. But this is like a pick up and play almost. There's very few buttons. I mean, spacebar to get out joystick button to shoot and then everything else you can just sort of do through menus so that's like very good design for its time I would say I don't know what else you could have done to make it easier because this is pretty easy I wonder if that first general is still just waiting for us to show up and we're just like see ya ain't gonna happen oh there's the uh, there's the thing so let's get out and swim in the water, which is great. Nope, nope. So I will say that it would be handy if there's like a button to get into a vehicle instead of just touching it. Because I went into a vehicle by mistake there. But that's okay. Whoops. Do that. I wanted to turn the map off. There we go. Am I hitting the fuel dump? 
Is that a guy? Oh, we blew him up. You've destroyed an enemy soldier for 70 credits. Oh, wait, maybe I have like bombs or something. Cool. That. What is that? Oh, it's like a little radar thingy. That's cool. Parachute. And I'm just gonna shoot this thing and hopefully it explodes. Oh, I did! Okay, my only other complaint is maybe, like, so it, when you're shooting something that can't explode, have little, like, chips of it or something falling off, so I can tell. Also, the bullets are really tiny, so I can't really tell what I'm hitting. Have it flash! Go with the old, ed it's basic. NES did it forever. Whenever you hit something that's taking damage, it always went ding! And then the thing would flash. So you'd have these giant bosses that are just flashing. Um, that's the, that's the cheap, the computationally cheap way of doing it. You don't have to add, you don't have to spawn any debris or anything, just make it flash. That's sufficient. Also, boom, look, you can fire missiles from your boat. Hopefully that didn't just blow up my headquarters. <laughs> Kinda just fired that off willy-nilly. Um, uh, alright, mission one, I'm, I'm prepared to say was a success. Pretty sure once we get back to the headquarters, they will agree. Unless we blew them up by mistake. Um, oh, there's like a jet ski there. That's cool. Where's the headquarters? Where are we at? We're here? There it is. Oops. Yeah, and if the camera would rotate, that would be one other handy thing. The stationary camera... Front facing is a little weird. Because it means if there's an enemy like towards us, I can't see him. But if he's behind us, we can see him, you know, like off into the horizon. You have succeeded. Oh, boo, yeah, we did a mission. Shocked. I'm shocked. Shocked. Destroy one radar unit, one comms unit. All right, pretty basic stuff. Oops, I didn't mean to. I didn't press any button there, I just... It, it was just like, I don't know, I guess... Oh, we're still in the... On the same island, so you just carry on in the same world? Interesting, so it's like a persistent world you have to explore, I guess? Oh, we only have 64 bullets this time. Ooh, but we have 570... Uh, credits. I wonder if there's a store. Oh, there are ally stores over there. Okay. Radar unit and comms units. All right. So let's go to the stores. They're just over this way. And then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. I think I can just swim across. Pretty sure. Oh my God, there's a helicopter. Do we dare? The manual kind of did warn me about the helicopter. It's like, don't worry if you suck when you fly the helicopter. They are hard. Uh, I'll leave it for now. We're just out for a nice leisurely swim. And let's bring up our map so I can see where the heck I'm going. I wish I was more clearly marked on the map, but I think I'm... Oops, you can't see it. I think I'm the little dot to the left. And I just made landfall. Yep, I am that dot. So the stores should be right over here. Oh, it's like a mega mall. Like, welcome to gun heaven. Come on in. What do you need, soldier? Oh, here we go. Bazoo uh, handgun is... Wait, eight? No, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why is a bazooka 12? Why is a handgun 800? Doesn't make any sense. What is this? Well, bullets. Can I just buy bullets? Why is this... 12. Okay, I don't actually know how to buy anything. Oh, these are just up for grabs. It's just like, take it all, take all you want. Oh, it's not a store, it's like stores. It's like the, the storage warehouse. Okay. So, let's do that, I guess. 
And I wonder if there's like the more you carry, the slower you move or something like that. Um, all right, so radar unit is up there. Com okay, so we just got to get up there. Okay. Well, let's start walking. <laughs> it would be kind of interesting if there was more going on. Like, you actually had to have a firefight or something. Largely open terrain. So, as impressive as the game is, it, is, it, it has some things that could be improved in further iterations, you know, so... The technology limited them, yeah, and they did, they, they, for what, what they could make, they made something pretty cool, but I think with the, with the benefit of hindsight, you know, in our modern era, we can look back at a game like this and be like, yeah, there were things that could be improved. There were things that could be improved. It's going to take forever to get up there. I actually kind of wish we had taken the helicopter. So I'm guessing we just blow this up and then we come back. So the whole game seems to be about time management because you only have so much time to do these things and, like, our life has gone down. If that's a helicopter, we're going to chance it. And if we crash and die, it was a good run. I think we got the gist of the game anyway, <laughs> even though we've only faced one opponent. Um, I wonder how big battles in this game get. You have to imagine they can only get so big. All right, here we go. Okay, so life drains when you swim. That's interesting. Boarded the helicopter. All right. Guess that doesn't do anything. Oh, it just fires a missile off. Okay, how actually do you control a helicopter? Oh, we have to try aerial observation drone and flare. A and F. Um, okay. One exception is the helicopter. Start the rotors, press the joystick forward, and press the button at the same time. Keep this position to gain altitude, but a helicopter cannot be controlled like a simple tank. Shade too much to one side or the other means a certain crash. You have to manage to take off the angle of the forward tilt will control the acceleration. Landing is pulling back on the joystick with the button. Back on the joystick with the button pressed. Good luck. Since landing is easily as dangerous as takeoff, when driving a motorized vehicle, you can choose to jump out. All right, AF, and let's try and fly this thing. Okay, forward and button. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Okay. There we go. We got it. I, I'm shocked that didn't crash us. Whoa. We're too far down. How do you zoom out? Okay, the arrow keys let you zoom in and out. I feel like we're still gaining altitude, which is not what I want. Man, we are making good progress, though. Okay. Um, how do you do this? Hold on, we're going back. We're, like, literally going backwards. Whoa. Okay, which which one is the button? Oh! We survived. Hey, a tank! I'll do. <laughs> I like how I landed the helicopter by just straight up crashing it. And that was okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now, where's the thing that we're looking for? It's over here somewhere. Oh, here's a radar dish. Oh, we blew it up! It worked. Oh, there's like a missile site or something. See, okay, I can't see anything because of this... Uh, stupid map here. Okay. Oh, we- oh my god. Okay, we blew ourselves up. Okay, F to fire a flare. We don't have any A. Oh, there goes some drones. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really neat. It shows- oh, that's so neat. You see, like, tanks and stuff. Cool. That's actually really handy. 
Um, okay, so we need to know log comms unit is just dead ahead that way. All right, well, let's just go blow it up on foot, I guess. I, I can't believe we blew up a helicopter and a tank. We kind of fell out of a helicopter, but you know what? It worked out. Our guy, our guy is hardy. If he swims for too long, he starts to die, but jumping out of a, or not even jumping out, crashing a helicopter into the ground until it explodes and is no longer in existence, he's okay with that. That's okay. All right, one more. What was it, a comms unit that we're supposed to destroy? Oh, this game also has day and night effects, which is pretty advanced, I would say. What is this thing over here? Is this a good thing or a bad thing? Oh, here, I have an idea. Do a time bomb. There you go. Oh, it worked. Oh, we killed a SAM launcher. Awesome. I am very impressed by how easy this game is to control. Can I say that again? There's so many old games like this that I played from like the 80s and stuff on Commodore, Amiga, and whatever, and there's all these buttons, and you have to read the manual, and if you don't, you're totally lost. Truthfully, if I didn't read the manual in this, I probably would be a little more lost. I might not have been able to get out of a vehicle. Certainly flying the helicopter, you need the manual just to know how to take off and stuff. But, I mean, it's not even like it's that complicated. Um, I mean, there's there's only one button on these old uh, Amigas anyway, so only a couple of things you can try. Okay, we're almost there. The, the walking, though, through this, like, blank open terrain, that is almost uh, the most tedious part of this game. Like, something like this wouldn't hold up these days. Like, if you if you made a game with this much walking, people would just complain that uh, it's too empty. They're like, you need something to do, something more interesting, you know, like... Um, and again, it's just a sign of the times, I think, for a game like this. But I can just see the reviews on Steam if somebody made an indie game like this. All it did is make me walk. It was so annoying. Um, oh, I know how to blow up your little hut here. Think. Dropping a bomb, yo. <laughs> oh, it didn't do it. it! Didn't blow it up. Okay, how about a bazooka? Yeah, there you go. Oh man, it's so cool. Everything's destructible. I was kind of skeptical that would even work. But it did. Okay, now we gotta find a boat and get the hell out of here, I guess. Or we could just drown. Turn the map off, because it's mostly in the way. Can we launch an aerial drone? This will help us figure out what's nearby. Oh, there's a boat, I think, dead south. There's also one sort of southwest. Let's go dead south to that island. Hmm. Okay, let's go back this way. I'm I'm curious what that building and stuff on this island actually were as well, so um I suppose I should turn my map back on. It's like south from here. I actually do kinda like the terrain in this game. The sort of Sonic the Hedgehog style terrain. I I would make an indie game that has this kind of terrain these days. Um, you just have to make the characters and stuff more detailed, I think. But let's see what's in this little hut here. Ooh, look at this! Fuel! Why does it say danger? Danger what? Oh, are we at maxed out on fuel? Yeah, we are. Okay, there was a boat. There it is. Little fuel depot that we found here. Very cool. And off we go. See ya, suckers! Thanks for the fuel! Okay, stop him! He took our fuel! He also blew up several things! He blew up my house! I lived in that comm unit! It's not easy building buildings on a series of disconnected islands with no natural resources, you know. 
Also, I don't even know who I was attacking. Were we at war with those people, or was it just a hut that was in the way? We'll never know. Now, I have, I have an idea about what's gonna happen when we get back to headquarters. They're gonna be like, congratulations, your next mission is blah. They'll just be like, go destroy three buildings now. You've destroyed one in a row, two in a row. How about three in a row? Can you handle that challenge? I think that is where we will break. Let's just see. Oh, should we fly that? Look, we gotta fly the helicopter one more time. I think it's a law that if you see a helicopter, you gotta try and fly it. Okay. The button. I can't get it to... Oh, the fuel is blinking. Maybe I don't have enough helicopter fuel? Okay, I guess I don't. Alright, well, whatever. See you then. I guess if you're in a boat and it runs out of fuel... in in a, Even in a game like Grand Theft Auto, you'd probably die. Like, your guy would run out of fuel and jump in the water and drown. It wasn't until the later Grand Theft Autos that they actually allowed you to swim. But in this, your guy seems to be able to swim, so... It is easier to live in this than Grand Theft Auto. This this does have a bit of Grand Theft Auto hints to it. It, it reminds me of, like, Halo and Grand Theft Auto and... Um, like a much, much simpler version of all of those. Oh my god, a Jeep. Hold on, we gotta try the Jeep. Also, I th think we just flew past our headquarters. I think it's on the- yeah, there it is. It's on that island there. We might have to try to swim to it. My life is slowly draining, I don't know why. Alright, let's do it. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my god, the wheels are turning, too. Yeehaw! Jeep time, baby! Okay, well, we gotta swim to the island, but that is, that is neat. <laughs> and I like how they give you a bicycle. <laughs> it's not even a motorcycle. They couldn't even make it cool. They're like, here's a bicycle. I can still hear the boat and the, the Jeep driving around. That's interesting audio effects. Interesting audio effects. Alright, this is our headquarters. Hey, we made it! We successfully navigated the very primitive... Is this even 8 bits? Is this 4 bits? I guess it's an 8-bit world, but it feels... The polygons make it feel even lower. We'll call it a 4-bit world. Uh, but we did it. You have succeeded in completing your mission, for which you've been given 500 credits. You've been awarded a Grade 1 medal. Yes! We're in Grade 1 now, guys! We're Private J008. Mission 3, I told you! We blew up one building, then two, then three. Um, this is where we're gonna call it quits for today, guys. I don't know why it does that every time... ...we try and do a mission, it's like, hey, get out of here. I didn't press any button there, I swear. Um, Hunter on the Atari ST, if you can get it to work, but also on the Amiga, if you want 1% better sound and, uh, graphics. One of the games of the book, a thousand video games just play before you die. Um, I didn't read the book's entry for this. Um, we could look it up, but I know what they're going to say. For its time, it was pushing the boundaries of, you know, 3D environments. Uh, it does seem like a predecessor to things that would come later. You know, Halo, Grand Theft Auto, um, like having these missions, having vehicles, um, you know, having combat, all this stuff. So I, I think it's a really cool idea for a game. Um, I, I think that when it came out, it was probably a much bigger deal than it would be these days. You know, there's some classic games like Mario Brothers 1. You're always going to have fun playing Mario Brothers 1. In 50 years, you could play it and it would stand up. I feel like a game like this, I don't know if it does stand up in so much as I can't imagine people who never grew up with this game sitting down and rediscovering the magic of Hunter and actually wanting to play it. Um, so if you did grow up with this game, I'm sure it brings back lots of nostalgia. I'm sure you want to play it. I'm sure you can still have fun with it. But I think that the bigger role a game like this, in my view, uh, is playing is that it is... Car it is paving the way for future games to come to build on the mechanics that were really like established in something like this so those are my thoughts on it I think it's probably an influential game but not necessarily one that too many people are going to 
want to go back and play these days. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. What do you guys think of Hunter here? Um, is it a game that you played back in the day? Could you give us some insight on how cool and influential it was? Uh, if you still play it, what are some things that you actually do like about it um, that make it cool and unique? Um, comment your comment in the comments down below. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video, whether you agree with my assessment or not. Hopefully you had fun checking it out, and hopefully we had some nostalgic vibes here today. If we did, like the video, subscribe, and all that stuff, and we'll catch you in the next one. Until next time, friends, you take care of yourselves, don't get yourselves hunted, and otherwise, peace.